I'm snapping in the field with the place John Maddie. It's so many good the Sunday magic. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping in the field with the place John Maddie. It's so many give it Sunday magic. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Madden. It's so many give it Sunday magic. Round of applause and you go, that's it. Damn, that's a bomb with a flick on my wrist. Jersey on my chest, that's a team that I rep. Came in as a rookie, now I'm ballin' like a vet. If you talkin' crazy, better say it with your chest. Hit him with the right, then I hit him with the left. Ooh, ooh. Then the juke move, Hotsman, stiff arm, lights out, you snooze. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. It is not a game, it is not a game. Banging on your chips when I come through the paint. Never been about the money or the fame. But when it bring both, so here we go again. Wins on the road, yeah, I got those. Couple records that I hold, yeah, I got those. It's the playoffs, the team just got home. We ain't going outside when it matter most. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. Time action, run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. Round of applause, and you go, that's it. Damn, that's a bomb with a flick on my wrist. Jersey on my chest, that's a team that I rep. Came in as a rookie, now I'm balling like a vet. Crazy, better say it with your chest. Hit him with the right, then I hit him with the left. Ooh, ooh. Then the juke move, Hotsman, stiff arm, lights out, you snooze. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. Yeah. It is not a game, it is not a game. Banging on your chips when I come through the paint. Never been about the money or the fame. But when it bring both, so here we go again. Wins on the road, yeah, I got those. Couple records that I hold, yeah, I got those. It's the playoffs, the team just got home. We ain't going outside when it matter most. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Maddie. It's so many, give it Sunday magic. Lights can't prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the play. It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Denver Broncos and the Washington Commanders on EA Sports. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Denver Broncos and the Washington Commanders. Joey Sly set to get us started, and we are underway in our nation's capital. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. 
Time for our first look at the Denver offense. And of course, the new face of the Broncos, nine-time Pro Bowler while in Seattle, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Wilson going to come out throwing. Being chased, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So an early wake-up call there leads to a quick second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, he completes this to Sutton. So five yards here, five on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Wilson. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. What a great job getting pressure here on the first drive. Three plays and already two sacks. And that pressure has been intense right from the beginning. And I'm telling you, if they don't make an adjustment in play calling and protection, it'll go from intense to relentless. Let's take it inside his own 40. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. So here are the Commanders making their way out. They'll be brought out by a player who was undrafted back in 2015 out of Old Dominion. Last season, his first as a starter, it's Taylor Heineke. Let's face it, you don't see too many Old Dominion alums suiting up under center in the NFL. And in fact, Taylor Heineke, the first ODU quarterback to suit up for a regular season game, not to mention doing well in the playoffs. This guy's an absolute fighter. Fought for every chance he's had in this league. Attitude, determination, those carry over to his teammates very well. And some room to work. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson, 51 yards. And the Commanders will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they're not spring together. A nice job. They helped themselves out. Here's Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Two drives went to the story 
this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. On second down, a run with Gibson. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was. And now it's third down. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions or one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Now Heineke. And a throw there going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now Heineke on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And the Broncos will take over on downs. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. To throw is Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Murray. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. It's taken to the 26. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 79 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coaching mindset way back when. When a back's having a great game, 
You've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular time. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Straight ahead, Gibson. A nine yard pickup, just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Ten yards there, good for Washington first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. On the draw, it's Gibson. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll go again with Gibson. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Gibson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter. He's got both of them. They're certainly setting himself up for a big game here. And I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call They'll try and throw for it. And this will be caught. So the try for two, good. And it pushes him out to a 15-0 lead. So the celebration in the end zone, but meanwhile, we do have an injured player. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get him at the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So a nightmare start to the drive as they're already staring at second and long. Now it's Wilson. Going with a screen for Murray. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. You think about this strong safety position, you know, they're the more bulkier guys in the free safety, but that time, great athleticism to hustle in and break up that play. But backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. From the gun, it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's Corliss Waitman now. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following 
the pickup of four. Here's second and six. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. To throw is Heineke. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. So, really, the first speed bump. encounter they had the rule of the roost here in this first half but now slowed up just a bit by the interception and there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early that team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there and the football going back over to the Denver Broncos and they'll start with great field position trying to get back into this one it's first and ten here what? After the interception, here's Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role in why they are trailing right now. Forced out to his left. And just not enough on the throw there. He got his feet and incomplete. The conversions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection. Attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And the deficit will hold at 15. But Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Gibson again. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And still about three yards shy of the first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with Gibson. And Gibson looking for some kind of opening, but he has none. They rally up to stop him short of the marker. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded. And how about this, a fake? And this is caught, and the gamble pays off. They get the first. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. And I don't know what the method is to know when to dial up a fake punt, when not to, whatever the method there, it worked for. I think you actually did explain it. There is no method. It's just a feel, a sense, and a healthy dose of guts in order to call that play in that situation. An element of surprise, I guess, right? The element of surprise and just a strong belief in, hey, we're going to get it done. 
It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run with Gibson. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. You gotta be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting them a few yards. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr. taking it in from a yard out. And the Commanders have moved out in front by three touchdowns. And now the Washington offense going to stay out there and go for two. They'll look to throw. That's caught. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is in the end zone for the score. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Denver offense now. To take over here. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Another run for Murray on second down. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll run here. It's Murray. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. To throw once more on second and 10, Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 33. From the shotgun, Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and 10. And they'll run the end around here with Judy. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Up the middle, Murray. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results. And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Broncos are able to cut into that deficit. McManus's point after is good. And the lead's down to two scores now at 16. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown run from Jerry Judy. 
This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up across the... Down at the 28. Here comes Antonio Gibson as he's set for another drive. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Heineke's throw into the hands of McLaurin. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Down right back to Gibson. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first and 10, it's Gibson. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Heineke. Middle of the field, he's got McClellan. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And here's a give to Gibson. And he fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Commanders are able to add on to their first-half lead. Now this is becoming quite the half he's had here. Remember in our pregame meetings, they talked about wanting to run the football and staying with it. Well, when you're scoring this many touchdowns, there's no reason to go away from it, is there? They're off to a fantastic start. They hope it continues. Three already for him. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taken from about the 12. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And coming out now, the Broncos. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rest off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Another run for Murray on second down. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. 
Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Now we get to see the punter, Corliss Waitman. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 23. They'll get nine yards on the... a punt of 42 and they will take over first and 10. Washington's offense ready to go again. There's Antonio Gibson. Well, there you see it. A hat trick of touchdowns and we're in the first half. I'm betting that he was over there saying, feed me. Yeah, there's no doubt. I got to eat. There is no doubt. And he's real hungry right now, isn't he? I mean, let's be honest about that. Though. We don't have to be on the field to understand what he's telling everyone. Give me the ball. We're locked in with the offensive line. They're taking care of business, and I'm finishing things off. Well, heck, he might be able to turn this into a historic event. We'll see. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. And he finds McClellan. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A nice gain at 21 yards. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 38. A handoff for Gibson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. On third down, here's Gibson. Man, 188 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength was on display there. Once more, Gibson. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Alex Singleton, the linebacker, there on the tackle. Throwing on second and eight. Heineke. And it's a fumble. It's picked up by the Broncos. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. 
You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. But you got to check this out because while they rightly congregate around the guy who just made the play on field, take a look at the sideline because they all went over to congratulate their punter because they remember it was his kick that set them up so close to the end zone and gave them an opportunity to get the safety that we just saw to add to their lead. That's teamwork right there. Full complimentary football, and they got it done. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. But well, one thing's for sure, they're still taking their shots downfield, even with a big lead. No, I think it's way too early to go into a shell, so I like what they're doing. Continue to take your shots, continue to be aggressive. It's not their job to slow themselves down. He completes this one to Terry McClure. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 30-yard line. And he's got some space here. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Heineke to throw it. Hitting Samuel on the slam. Touchdown! Curtis Samuel, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders have opened the lead up to 30. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Looking to throw, Heineke. And this is going to be caught. Well, not sure about the need to go for two, but they get it. Can extend this lead out even further. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. Do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a base is clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> it just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. From the 29, Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, Wilson. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, Wilson. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. These guys have cut it four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. There's Wilson. And that's incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This is taken at the 18. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. 
Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Throwing Heineke. This one incomplete. Almost picked up by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. And look at this, another fake. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. The fake punt gets him 13 yards. A huge play on special teams. It's a first down. Oh, on the defensive side, that is so deflating. Not only is it deflating, they've got to look in each other's eyes on that side of the ball and take each other's measure. You've got them backed up, perfect situation. And what they said to you on the other side is, we don't think you can stop us. Went ahead and got it in that position. That should never happen. Baron Browning, the one who brought him down. Just shy of midfield. Heineke. This a quick slant, and he's got Terry McCoy. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 38-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On the draw, it's Gibson. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. 234 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Heineke on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dotson from 21 yards away. And the Commanders extend their lead yet again. Well, I'll say one thing, Charles. You're getting really good practice here in breaking down touchdowns. What, what did you see there? Well, the same thing I've seen over and over and over in this first half. My scintillating analysis, Brandon, this offense is absolutely taking no prisoners. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Now Wilson on first down. Steps away to his left. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Wilson. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack. And it'll lead to a third and long. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. So we've reached halftime here. Getting through the break at record pace and right back to football. Third quarter, here we go. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. But they're obviously right now in the driver's seat, comfortably ahead. They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles, and 
I mean, for them, I guess it's just more of the same, right? Keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's not typical for us to see games out of reach in the third quarter. Right now, they're unstoppable in this one. And seeing how they just came out onto the field, it does appear like they're done scoring points in this one. They look awfully confident. On second down, a run with Gibson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 47. They'll go again with Gibson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And yeah, good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And they'll try to throw now. Heineke over the middle, brought in by Dotson. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offer can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now Heineke. Looking for the corner, and he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Commanders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. They add on more. A little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. Joey slide out to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25-yard line. Wilson. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Wilson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, in a situation you're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps, and soon. On third down, Wilson. And a Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. The Broncos send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That's taken it around the 40. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to 
be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Gibson again. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They all go buy them dinner. But after a play like that, he might reduce it. Might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for a while in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight How's ounce. That? Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. Heineke. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 18. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Commanders. Well, fair to say, they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time in the ball game. And, Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit, but going for two in this situation... Somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No, no. Okay. Well, first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their 25-yard line. To throw is Wilson. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing is Wilson. His throw incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's got a man complete. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Throwing again here, Wilson. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll give up the gut for Murray. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. It's 21.
And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he will. Stand across the 20 to the 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Tenth carry of the game now, Murray. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Again, it's Murray. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Wilson. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Montez Sweat picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The kick by McManus is good, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. That one is slant to McLaurin. His big game continues. Ten catches now, and another first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I know a coach told me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame, get used to the ground shaking, so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the counter, Gibson. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A give up the middle to Gibson, and he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Gibson. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., 14 yards. And the Commanders get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And now once again, they'll line up to go for two. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. I'm not sure about the need to go for two, but they get it and extend this lead out even further. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. 
Well, first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25-yard line. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Jameen Davis, the one to get up from his linebacker spot and make that play. Now on second and 13, Wilson. But he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Montez Sweat giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, two snaps ago, I don't think anyone thought a safety was on the table. Yet, it happened. They cut him up back-to-back -back plays, breaking through the line. No amount of evading was going to save him from the sack on either play. And on the last one, he ran too deep into the end zone to set up the safety. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. A first down throw for Heineke. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. And now it's a bootleg with Heineke. Looking for the crossing receiver, and he's got him. It's Samuel. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. So first and 10 now from the 30. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those master dodge you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Robinson up the middle. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Brian Robinson, Jr., a six-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders continue to pour it on here in the fourth. There we go now as they will again try for two. Here's Heineke. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. But I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on. But apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Well, first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their 25-yard line. There's Wilson to throw. That's complete to the tight end, Sober. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. Now it's Wilson. And the timing a bit off that time as Evan falls to the ground. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Wilson. And that will be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Take it right on the 30. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. 
There's Terry McLaurin, such an exciting pass catcher as this offense comes out for their next drive. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On first down, right back to Gibson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Heineke now from the 50. This pass complete to McLaurin going across the middle. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 29-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right of the yard. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Once more, Gibson. This carry, despite the extra effort, will be stopped short of the 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A handoff for Gibson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Antonio Gibson taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Commanders have got it on cruise control. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. From the shotgun, it's Heineke. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25-yard line. Here's Wilson. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Wilson going with a screen for Murray. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. On the delay, this is Murray. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Nine yards on the carry, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Pulled in at the 24. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pull it off. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would have, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out of this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. On play action, Heineke. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved. And now off to the races, down the right 
right side. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin with his second touchdown of the afternoon. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Denver's offense ready to go again. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense. The fight I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Wilson. Got a man. It's Judy complete. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and ten, it's Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because... Maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. On second down, here's Gibson again. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for Washington first down. Now Heineke. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. On the draw, it's Gibson. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Gibson will take this one in. Touchdown, Washington. Now, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So the Broncos coming out now. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing, a partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Dancing to his left, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. 
multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he'll take it on this side of midfield. So possession goes over here on the punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and ten on the short side of the field. On first and ten, it's Robinson. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. 74 yards on the ground for him now with four touchdown runs tacked on. On second down, a run with Gibson. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. A gain of 14, first down, Commanders. They'll go again with Gibson. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A give running right, Gibson. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Washington on third down. They've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and four. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. They'll run with Gibson. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try to run with Gibson. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So definitely a good day's work throwing the football. Very good day's work. A fourth touchdown pass as they're really pouring it on. Yeah, so much for going into clock mode after getting that touchdown, right? Because you would think with the lead fourth quarter, they might actually do that. No chance. They've kept attacking and got another touchdown pass as a result. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. A first down, Murray. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. To throw is Wilson. to be incomplete. This has been a long one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? 
his defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Heineke. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Here's Tressway now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. A give to Gibson running right. And Pat five him. He dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. And what are the whistles for? Timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. A give up the middle to Gibson. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome. But a little whipped cream on top to their ending. As our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little lamb, yeah, a little extra on top. Our fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed? They did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely dream scenario for everyone on that offense. And they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed. Lights came, prime time action. Run it up, touchdown.